for scientific testing, which I have conducted already. There needs to be a unit of measurement. I don't suppose Epic Games has shared their system. I know they use Unreal units, but there is no concrete info on that, and besides, you cannot easily replicate it in game. Thus, I and my crew have decided to look for our own ways. The most obvious one would be to use time to run, but that's not nearly as effective as something like meters or inches. I've used floors to accurately measure some testing such as bullet spread, but it didn't even come across my mind to have it utilized globally, until this random idea came into my mind. So here's how it started. I really enjoy the RV parking location near Retail Row as a starting location, and its shape is narrow, so my first thought was to build floors across it and then compare other locations with that. When I was done, I was struck with the realization that there was a different location that would suit me the best. The hangars, or dusty depot, or whatever they're called right now. Apparently, the geometry of a hangar is very defined. It is exactly 7 floors in length and 2 floors in width. I've downloaded the Fortnite map and measured just how many pixels there were on the map and determined that a single floor tile is 0.7 centimeters or 2 pixels. So if you zoom into the map, the floor will occupy 4 pixels, 2 by 2. The only thing that was left was to make it to pixel grid. The white squares in the map are also a good measure, but they're nearly not as precise as a floor tile. They can be used in tandem though. I've calculated that 74 by 74 floors make up a single white square, 5476 in total. Since we now have a proper length measurement, which I will from now on call the floric system, let's also measure it in time. It takes 0.9 seconds to cross a single tile, but since traveling around the map isn't just mindless running in one direction, let's round this up to 1 second for everyone's pleasure. And there's also the fact that the 0.9 could simply be incorrect, although tested a multitude of times. Anyway, if crossing a floor takes 1 second, then it takes a minute and 14 seconds to cross a single white square, 2 minutes and 28 seconds to cross 2, and so on. You can now accurately determine exactly how much time you need to spend getting to the circle thanks to this, especially if you're new. Let's quickly get back to the white squares. There are 49 of them, and given that we know how many floors one has, in total it amounts to 268,324 floors, or 74.5 hours of running. Keep in mind that this number includes the ocean, I assume you can build over it, but you will die if you take a dive. Still, realistically it cuts down to about 50 hours of running if you'd like to cross every single floor tile, since water is roughly a third of the terrain. If you'd like to cross the entire map, it's going to take 7 minutes on average to get to one end point to another. And now, it's time to measure various locations and floors for your own convenience, and also since I'm going to be using the Floric system for reference in my upcoming projects. To add to this, let's say that the Floric system mostly will help not us, but rather you, the viewer, to understand my future videos, since I was using floors in there long before this point in time. Thank the devs for making this easier to accomplish due to hangers being so perfectly done. The white squares are supposedly a kilometer each, but I don't think there's a way to know that unless I go full shoddy cast style. I'm Audi.